Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com and today I'm asking the elite pros questions that you submitted on our forums. Let's see what they have to say. Next question is from George Grieve from Davie, Florida. He says, when fishing gets really tough in a tournament and you have tried almost everything in your arsenal, what's the one confidence bait you turn to? Well, there's never just one bait. You know, for me, I want to look at the conditions that I have, the, you know, the water clarity, the time of the year, uh, the habitat type, the depth, and I'm trying to pick lures that are the most efficient for that set of uh, conditions that I have on a, on a given day. So to say I have one go-to bait when things, everything else has fair, failed is, uh, is not really the case. I'm going to use what I think is the most efficient to cover the water that's in front of me based on the conditions that I have. Now, how do you get that confidence? Really, it comes through experience. You know, we um, we all have our own uh, confidence bait. So, like for me, um, in clear water, when things get real tough like that, I know if I got to be able to cover water and be efficient, a jerk bait's a go-to bait. Well, this, you know, the next guy over here, Casey Ashley, it may be a, a jig or a, a shaky head or something like that. There's no one answer. Um, for every situation. You know, there's always multiple ways to catch the bass, but you have to have confidence in what you're doing. So, you know, that comes through experience. What's the one confidence bait you turn to? I would say one bait that I feel like I can always get bit on is going to be a drop shot. No matter where we're at in the country, uh, almost every single water condition, other than maybe a just super dirty, muddy, nasty situation where those fish can't see anything, I would say 90% of the time a drop shot is going to be my go-to. The reason being I can apply a lot of different weights um, you know, for different situations and depths. I can also change the bait, uh, you know, whether it's a 7-inch zoom trick worm, um, a swamp crawler is a little smaller all the way down to a zoom Z drop. I can apply those across different situations and different conditions to be able to get bit as well as color. So you can take a drop shot and do a lot of different things with it to be able to apply it to where you're fishing. What is the one confidence bait you turn to? Uh, 3 8 ounce ball head jig made by Buckeye. It's uh, just a, a ball headed jig with a four alt gamagatsu hook in there. I usually throw brown and green. 99% of the time it's a, uh, just a base color. And then I use the Zoom Green Pumpkin Twin Tail or Z Crawl Trailer. That's my confidence bait. So when I get back against the wall and I'm gonna struggle, I'm gonna struggle with what I feel the most confident in that I can make something happen. Now what makes that bait so versatile? It's just something I've throwed forever. I, you know, I, I, I can throw it and reel it. I can burn it down a retaining wall. I can skip it under a dock. I can cast it 25 foot deep in a brush pile. But when I got that in my hand, I feel like I can do everything, still be productive. And if there's a fish there, I believe I can catch him. And that's the real key, actually. When, when, when the fishing's really tough, you have to have confidence in what you're fishing in. You have to have the ultimate confidence in what you're fishing. You can't ever second guess or doubt what you're doing. So to me, fall back on whatever that bait is, fall back on your confidence and then ride with it. What's the one confidence bait you turn to? It's gonna be a six inch, six and a quarter inch Berkeley Havoc bottom hopper on a shaky head, drop shot or wacky rig, one of those three. I mean, when I'm struggling, I'm pulling out the spinning rod. Uh, it happened to the Potomac River last year. I pulled it out and ended up winning that tournament. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things that, uh, you know, as we start to get more people involved in the sport and there's more pressure on these lakes than ever before, uh, I think a spinning rod is becoming a bigger factor, and, and I tend to pull it out a little bit quicker than everybody else. Well, what would you say to folks who are like, ah, I hate spinning gear, I'm never going to throw that? You're missing, you're missing out. Hey, and I don't care. If you don't want to throw a spinning rod, don't throw it, because it just helps me. So, you know, that, that's what I tell them. People that refuse to throw one, that's fine. I mean, not going to hurt my feelings. But your confidence bait is on a spinning rod. 100. If if the world ended tomorrow, I would grab a spinning rod, a bunch of worms, and I'd head for the hills. Like, <laughs> I know I could go catch fish on that and survive. So that, that's my, my my number one right there. Perfect. Great answer. Yeah. What's that one confidence bait you turn to? Uh, if I'm fishing shallow, uh, not only confidence bait, but confidence technique. If I can pick up a flipping stick, I feel like that's I've already I mean that's if if I'm struggling I'm probably going to pick pick up a flipping stick if there's something that I can flip for one I think you're getting a reaction bite that fish is not going to choose whether he bites or not if he's there he's probably going to bite and as far as the bait you know we have, we have a new bait that came out I think three years ago and and I designed it it's it's called a Christie critter and I guarantee you you can open that rod locker right there and not only will I tell you that there's at least two rigged up I bet you they're laying on the top where they get access first. So 
uh, that's absolutely, you know, my confidence bait. Even even with it, cold fronts and let's say water temp has dropped 10, 15 degrees, that's what you pull out. Yep. I mean, you know, we're talking about a big, you know, the big picture, not a specific, you know, obviously. Uh, if the water temperature drops to 40 degrees, I'm probably not going to pick up a crystal critter. But day in and day out, you know, normal spring, summer events, uh, I'm going to flip up or pick up something that I know that if that fish sees it, he's going to eat it. And confidence is the key to all of this. Confidence is the key not only to this, the sport, all sports. I mean, confidence is, is I mean, the boys that walk up and ask the girls if they want to go to a date. <laughs> Got to have yeah. confidence. That's right. And I didn't have a lot of that because I wasn't the prettiest guy on the street. Oh, dude, I'm a West Coast guy, George. Uh, drop shot or a little wacky rig. I mean, I don't care if the water's dirty like here on Conroe or you can see down 15 feet. Um, if I'm struggling out there, I am not afraid to break out the six pound test line, uh, a little six foot 10 mega bass spinning reel, uh, spinning rod and, and a 2500 series spinning reel and, uh, and fishing like a weightless wacky rig, a little, sometimes even a four inch worm, but most of the time it's a five or six inch weightless worm, just pitched to the most obvious piece of cover. And uh, yeah, a guy may have went down that, that piece of that, that stretch or that dock with a spinner bait or a crank bait, but I feel like I could go in behind guys. Um, with a little wacky rig or, or a little drop shot rig and just sit there and shake that worm and and, and uh, talk that fish into biting yep great technique great follow-up technique too yeah absolutely and there you have it great questions from the pros answering your questions that were submitted on the forums on bassresource.com for more videos like this check out our youtube channel or visit bassresource.com